Hi, Karen Curry Parker here. Welcome to Understanding Your Human Design. You have just found out that you are a reflector. So let's talk a little bit about what does it mean to be a reflector. In human design, each energy type has a specific role that it plays. There are five energy types in the human design system and you as a reflector are a rare type. Less than 1% of the population are actually reflectors. If you could imagine that we are collectively putting on a show. As a reflector, your role is to serve as the audience. You are here to observe the show, to observe everything that is happening in the performance and to take it in. And in that taking it in, you magnify it and you actually reflect it back out to others so that the people putting on the show can gauge how well they're doing with their performance. You have the capacity to hold and carry tremendous amounts of energy in your being. You amplify and reflect all that is around you and you feel and sense things quite profoundly and quite deeply. This gives you an enormous capacity to carry a lot of energy, giving you a life purpose that is about measuring the quality of the energy in your community. You're here to reflect back to others how well we're doing. Every human design type has a strategy, a way of being, and most importantly in your case, a way of making decisions and choices. Decision making for the reflector can be somewhat challenging because the best way for you to make decisions and choices in the world is very counterintuitive to how most of the world operates. As a reflector, you are a lunar being and your strategy for decision making is to actually wait out a full lunar cycle, 28 to 29 days before you get clarity. The reason why you need so much time is because you are taking in and experiencing so much energy from everyone else. It, you need the time to really sit through and sort through and, and feel your way into which of the energies that you're experiencing actually belong to you. This makes decision making for the reflector a unique experience and in a highly fast moving pressurized world, it can sometimes cause you to feel pressure to make decisions that aren't right for you or cause you to feel like you have to question yourself because you haven't had the time to take your time to feel your way into things. When you can understand this about yourself, I'm hoping it'll take off some of the self blame and the self judgment that you may have had about being indecisive or to explain the pressure that other people have placed on you about your seemingly indecisive nature. You're not indecisive. You just make decisions in a very different way than most people. The wealth theme of the reflector is to take your time if you're going to build true wealth. And that's not just money, that's abundance and well being and meaning. You need to take your time and if you can build yourself a financial cushion so that in the boom and bust cycles of your energy or in those cycles when you need more time to make big decisions, you have enough cushion to be able to stop everything that you're doing and be present to your choice and to your decision making process. The challenges for the reflector are pressure, learning how to master pressure, especially the pressure to make decisions quickly uncertainty and keeping your own energy clear, making sure because you see so clearly the potential of everyone that you don't fall in love with potentials of a person or potentials of an idea. It's going to be important for you now that you understand how your energy works to really make sure that the people in your life are walking their talk. You can see the heart of everyone. The challenge for you is making sure that you give, your enough, you give yourself enough time to really see whether they are actually living from their heart and making sure that you're not making decisions and choices based on people's potential rather than what they're actually doing. Every human design type has an emotional theme. The emotional theme for the reflector is disappointment. And the disappointment of the reflector comes from seeing people's potentials, knowing people's potentials, and also recognizing when they're not living true to the fulfillment of their potential. The second source of disappointment sometimes for the reflector happens when you haven't had enough time to make good and clear choices. And so from the pressure or from the speed at which the rest of the world operates, you've been forced to make a decision before it was the right time for you to choose. You can feel disappointed 
in the outcome or your experience of your choice. Famous reflectors include Sandra Bullock and Michael Jackson. If you'd like to learn more about your type or the type and purpose of your friends and your loved ones, the Human Design Activation Guide is an excellent, easy to read source of information about human design and your type. In this book, you're gonna go deeper into understanding your reflector experience and what you need to do to cultivate a deeper sense of meaning and purpose. You can get it on Amazon and start reading today about how you can live more true to who you really are.